project manager, uh, Neve, Oscar, if you can come, uh, Kathy, and Leslie. Okay, so <laughs> the problem statement that backpacks are hard and inefficient to use uh, when you have a lot of stuff. Uh, this is basically geared towards like people who either carry a lot of stuff or people who have like a rigorous schedule um, where you need to know where like your things are. For example, you have like Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, uh, and that stuff is different from just Tuesday and Thursday classes. Okay, so the user needs uh, for all of these, but the thing, the main uh, points that we can gather from this is that it's hard to organize, uh, different, difficult to utilize all the space. Uh, sometimes there's like pockets which you never ever use, but they're there. Uh, as you know, there's like uh, those holes at the back, which you, in, where you're supposed to put your keys. Now, I would never put my keys there, because I'm going to just pull it up, you know. Uh, so it hurts your back, uh, and it's not as easy to use for the average user. Uh, by that, I mean all of us, I'm pretty sure if we have a lot of stuff, it's going to be hard for us to use. Um, but we were aiming towards something that if you have a lot of stuff and you're, you know, going really fast, getting whatever, life, college, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, then you can just put your stuff in there and not have it be a nuisance. So our goal is really to uh, what? Well, a lot of goals, right? Design a better backpack, uh, which implements an easier way to transport your materials, uh, more efficient organizational uh, capabilities, as well as have a, to have it more. Uh, to have it have more compartments or compartmentalize it and so forth, uh, and have a better rate to see. Uh, so, we did some research online by the direct observation on uh, uh, interviews. Leslie conducted a lot of interviews, I observed a lot, and did a little bit of online stuff, and the rest did a lot of online and observation. Uh, also, Neve and Kathy were also talking about the styles of backpacks, and that got us wondering why do we even buy a backpack? It's probably 80% style, 20% enough. Actual capability, which is another issue. Right, so say backpack use, that's correct. The other two uh, are incorrect. When you lean backwards, uh, it's bad for your back. Uh, when you have the cool, uh, I'm too cool for both hands thing going on, that's bad for you as well. Uh, also, later on, uh, if the backpack probably goes further, you could have like a Electricity generating backpacks, so you can power your iPod or whatever. Because of the flex of the set. Because of the molding of the strong set. Right, okay, so this was a, a particular weight and recommended weight. So this is your weight on the first column, uh, and then the recommended weight for the backpack uh, is in the second column, and the maximum weight is in the third column. I don't know why they have the maximum weight, anyways, but it's there. This was actually uh, from the same website as uh, where you saw the different postures of the backpack, uh, and this from the kids' website. Uh, so the recommend, recommended weight is supposed to be, I believe, 15% of 20% of your body weight. Uh, and so what I did was I just plotted this and extended it up, because now we're also looking at the butts. So this is just a, a guide for us when we're actually making the backpack, uh, or designing the we have different concepts, we'll, I'll get to that. And Leslie taught the All right, so we had all read the news finding article, and we all did our own kind of interviews, but uh, we've been talking about creating hacks and the idea of interfacing, how you want to get like, certain things all the time, and you want it accessible. So if any hack would kind of be the ideal situation, but we never didn't think that would be trendy. But then I saw this woman who had like this kid, I was like, hi, oh, who's talking? And she was very friendly, and so, she actually got her bag out and kind of uh, unloaded everything and showed me kind of all her compartments and her whole system. I forget her name, but she, she really enjoyed the interview and she, she had everything kind of worked out. And she introduced the idea of like weight distribution, like, um, to like kind of to an optimal degree. Because she, she basically doesn't, she could, she has another backpack that she can wear and put everything in at once, but she basically in purposefully kind of carries everything like as far apart as possible. Um, and so we move forward with that idea. And then let's see. Yeah, that's her fan fact. She had like different pockets that basically were pockets where you don't go into very often, but it's important for them to be there. Like you have feminine products or whatever. Fat 
five minute products you said? Five minute. Oh, oh, oh I, th I thought you said these are my five minute products, these are my ten minute products. Yeah, but she had like pockets that kind of have varying like amount of security, kind of like personal pockets, like pockets where you just put everything in. Um, it was really helpful to talk to her. She had like the things that worked out. But this one. And then also, she was a mother and she had this little, uh, this said her name. I forget what her name was, like Snowbar or something. <laughs> but uh, her child made this for her and she was really excited about it. It's kind of the yeah, idea like how you decorate your workspace and make it your own. She had done that with her bags. Um, and then this is my friend Ross and I talked to him about the backpack. And he really liked how he had these like two water bottle holders and how it was kind of like a video game where you could like grab things like, and so but again it's accessibility and yeah, this convenience nice. and, and promoting like good habits also of like, drinking water if it's accessible more often. Yeah. And we also know that 